In this problem, we're looking at a circle where we know the centre, 6, 6, and we also know the radius of the circle is 2. We have this other point outside of the circle called P, which is located at 13, 0. The point Q is on the circle and is also on the tangent line from P to the circle. Okay, so what we are wanting to do is try to determine what the length of this line is. So we want the length of PQ, which I'm going to use these straight lines either side to mean the length. So, how would we do this? Well, first of all, we know that this being the normal and that being the tangent, they meet at right angles. And so we have a right angle triangle. Now, if we can work out the distance between C and P, then we would have this length and that length, which would allow us to then use Pythagoras to work out the length that we want. So actually, what we need is that length by using Pythagoras on this triangle. So we can see that from 6 to 13, that would be 7. And then from 0 to 6, that would be 6. So this length, let's call it d, is d squared is equal to 6 squared plus 7 squared. So d squared is 36 plus 49. So d squared is equal to 85. So d is the square root of 85. So if we know that that length is now root 85, then knowing the other side of the triangle 2, we can use Pythagoras to work out this length. So if we say that the length of PQ is equal to the square root of root 85 squared, which is just 85, take away the square of 2. So in actual fact, this is the square root of 81, and so the length of PQ must be 9. So that shows you how a diagram to solve the problem, to help solve the problem, is really useful with circle questions. Because it allows you to then draw all over them and think, right, okay, well, here's a right angled triangle, so I could use Pythagoras. Um, how am I going to work out that missing side? Well, I might need to use Pythagoras again, and so on. And a diagram can really help you figure out your process of how you would solve a problem similar to this one.